Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Right in front of me, out of your view, you might be able to see this box right here, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six packages that, I mean, I normally don't get this much stuff. It must be Christmas. I put another post on Instagram just kind of being like, did y'all want another giant ass unboxing? And everybody was like, yes! So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So fair warning, I didn't order anything. This just happened to come, so. Big thank you to all of these uh, brands or companies. Oh, sweet. Looks like this one is from Cousins Brands. Let's see what they got. This is dope. So we got another hoodie. This is like the other hoodie that they sent with the oatmeal color with the red logo, but this one is uh, like a navy with, almost looks like a burnt orange. This is like, um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't consider it old school warrior colors, but this is the colors that we had before they switched back to the, the retro or original colors, which was the, the blue and yellow. You remember when they had like orange and all that stuff and the mascot was thunder? That's these colors right here. This is my favorite hoodie from them though, uh, cause it's super soft. I made that Snuggles the Bear reference last time and same thing goes it's a uber soft hoodie so if you're looking for something that's nice and soft and cozy i guess for the winter then then this is it oh snap track pants on point these are track pants got that elastic bottom white piping down the side with uh there's a patch here it says made men only there's also a patch on the butt right there that says cousins brand i think that's sick and the logo patch right there above the left pocket really dope stuff i think this is part of their new apparel lineup so these items may or may not be available already and of course we got to have a track jacket to go with the track pants right so this one's uh black and brown it says cousins on the back it's pretty legit right here it's actually sewn in reminds me of uh like you're part of a team you know what i mean like like uh like your old high school jerseys and uh not jerseys but the, the warm-ups and stuff and last but not least we got a new t-shirt looks like a long sleeve it's got all kinds of stuff all over it this reminds me of a racing a racing suit like a uh, nascar and stuff they got all the ads all over them it's even got writing all the way down the arms simple black white matches with everything you really can't go wrong big thank you to cousins brand i will leave a link in the description box below for anybody that might be interested. I believe I have a promo code as well for like 40% off or whatever it might be. I can't remember, but I'll find it and then I'll put it down there. That way, if you do see anything that you wanted to grab either for yourself or for someone else, you can save out a little bit of cash. Box number two is a pair of shoes. And this is from a place called How Concepts. And it's not just a place, it's actually one individual person. Real quick background on the guy. His name's James. He's a, a former college student. And basically he wanted to get into the footwear industry, but they don't let you in unless you have experience and you can't get experience unless they let you in makes sense right <laughs> so uh, which is which is the whole like that's like the weirdest part about everything uh, the way that that corporate works like the corporate world is that they want you to have experience and if you have no experience then you can't get in but they won't let you get the experience in order for you to get in in the first place I think it's weird there are ways to get around that like internships and things like that but this particular person is in the UK and most uh, brands, I guess, are located here in the United States. Again, there are, of course, brands overseas and things like that, but, you know, when he's trying to get into athletic footwear and stuff, those are over here unless you're trying to work for Adidas. So what he ended up doing is saving up all of his own money and making his own shoe, which is this one right here, and it's called the Fu Futuro, and um, it's pretty legit, so let's go ahead and check it out. Dust bag, bunch of stickers, there's a, the actual shoe right here, business card, and then, of course, the shoe. So this is the Futuro. Futuro. I don't know how to say it. Futuro. That's how I want to say it. So that's what I'm going to call it. The Futuro. And it's a really lightweight lifestyle shoe, basically. So you can see that it uses the same tooling that you'll find on the Nike Roshi or Roshi Run, which is actually a really common mold that they use in a lot of shoe factories, especially over in China. And then the upper is a completely unique design where it kind of reminds me of the Air Jordan 28 with that just black and volt lining. I think it looks really dope. It's a completely neoprene upper and then the toe has a suede material along with mesh, reflective detailing, more mesh, and more uh, new buck right here. Bungee enclosure, so no laces. Custom insole and inner lining. And again, there's no laces required here. So it's basically got this giant bungee cross strap and that's the lacing system. Really cool concept. I'm really stoked that the person, James, actually was able to kind of fulfill one of his dreams, which is just to create a, his own shoe. It's a limited run. I believe there's only like 50 pairs or so. So if you are interested and you want to support the guy, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. I highly recommend it. I think it's awesome that somebody like this is creative and bold enough to just go out there and do their own thing. All right, so this next box is from the Shrine, and I can tell because it's got the Shrine tape all over it. There's two boxes here from them actually, so I'll probably just open them both up consecutively. 
It's pretty big, that's what she said. So this is their new material on their older travel bag. So the last video that I did, they sent me their, their day pack, um, which was like a, a backpack, and this is the original day pack. So it's obviously a lot bigger. This is for the, the weekend, basically. It's got enough clothes, or not enough clothes, enough space for like clothes, laptops, um, obviously your pair of shoes, and this one looks to be done up in, in a denim. Oh man, that interior is sick. It's got spaces for two pairs of shoes, actually. And then this opens up, and it's got stuff for your accessories or toiletries and then your clothes. Um, I actually use this, again, when I travel. This is my, my carry-on, so this goes in the overhead, and then I use the backpack to keep with me that you like can stick underneath your seat. This one's their duffel bag, so this is also, this must be their new product line with the denim and everything, because I saw these bags. These are like not new designs, but they're new material options. And I went to their, their HQ a while back, because they're based in uh, San Francisco and I saw all of these things took pictures video all that stuff this is a, a shoe pouch on one side and then same thing on the other for another pair of shoes and I thought their stuff was really dope we wrote a big old article about them on wear testers and it was really cool and then your main pouch in there has uh, all of your storage space so this is really sick it's got that cool lining inside I think it's really dope if you're into luggage and you're into sneakers you might want to consider grabbing at least one bag. I, I personally prefer just the, the day pack, the backpack, not the giant one that we just got, but the one that I showed the other day, because it's good for like quick trips and stuff that's like a one dayer. This big one that I just put down, that one's good for a weekend, and then this is an actual duffel bag, so if you're gonna have a longer stay, this is what you might want to use. All right, so this just came in today. This looks like it's from Tesh Sports. Didn't order anything again. I was actually gonna order, because on, on a Cyber Monday, they had like this big old sale, and everything was like 30% off, which was really sick so I was about to grab a couple of their shoes that they sent already but in a size that would actually fit me but it looks like they beat me to it so yeah so we got the trigger and the trooper both in an eight and a half so really excited let's check out the trigger first because the trigger is my favorite model that they got Woo. and it's the ones that they sent before they sent these you didn't see them because I gave them to Jaren already but they're black with the um, uh, the vault and everything I think this is a slick shoe everybody's trying to you know bag on it go ahead and spend twice as much on a swoosh product I don't really care dude I'm open to all brands we treat all brands equally over here at wear testers so whether your name is Tesh sports or it's Jordan brand you're getting the same level of treatment if your shit is trash then it's trash if it's great then it's great so to us a shoe is a shoe whether it performs on court or not is what's really important all you brand people that are you know too uh, I don't even know what to call it but just too dumb to, to open your mind up to other things you know stay away from this kind of stuff this isn't for you so yeah th these have the the nice rubbery material that I was talking about in the last video I love this material way more than the uh, sample version which was like a really thick hard kind of plastic and then the other one is the Oh sweet, so it's the same exact color, so that's dope. Uh, so the white and blue, you guys already saw these, I already, already did a uh, quick look on them and everything in the, in the last unboxing, but um, this is the, uh, the, the Trooper, and this is a size eight and a half, so hopefully they fit me. I'll be trying them on after the video, so you know, just be patient. I'll, I'll update everybody on like Instagram and stuff. But yeah, so these are dope, can't wait to play in them. I really like their cushion, so to me personally, I just think it's a, like a nice smooth setup. And I do have an extra pair of these now in a size nine that fit more like a nine and a half, so I'm probably gonna give those away locally, especially because they're a Bay Area brand. I'm born and raised in the Bay Area, I still live here. So it's always good to give back to your community, you know, so I'll, I'll give a pair of those away. All right, last box. I'm getting tired of opening stuff, which sounds stupid, but you know, w when you gotta keep up a personality on the computer, or not on the computer, on the, the video camera, and there's nobody in front of me, it's literally a tripod with a camera on it. So when I start to actually think about what I'm doing, I feel kind of like stupid. <laughs> Let's open her up. All right, so a bunch of Point Threes new stuff. Got new X Wrap socks. I actually already had a pair of these. Um, these are their socks with ankle, I wouldn't say ankle brace or support, but they call it like base layer ankle support, which means that it's got ankle compression. It's an X Wrap that has tighter compression around your ankle. I already reviewed these socks. I think they're great. It's not a support piece like an ankle brace would, it's just compression to allow blood flow, circulation, all that kind of good stuff. So it's like wearing compression sleeves, but in a sock. And then we got, oh man, I thought these were shorts. These are pants. Not only are they pants, but they have the uh, the towel on them too, which is sick for your hands. If you guys seen my previous videos, it's basically 
basically is a, a dry cloth towel on both the left and the right so when you're shooting you clean off your hands and then you're good to go no slippage but this is in pants form old school style too with the with the open zip bottom you guys remember that none of that tight snug stuff like joggers like this is legit old school basketball style this is sick and then inside it's got an elastic waistband along with two gel stripes right here so they don't slip really dope and then we've got their 0.3 buckets tee I actually have this already so I'll probably donate this dope shirt though I really dig it and then this is a jacket this is sick this is a hoodie. Look at this with the zipper. A dry V Tech in the hood. That's dope. With the three right there on the on the on the top. Man, that's sick. It's actually a mesh. Oh no, just the back is mesh. That's dope, dude. So it's like actually breathable. This is sick. You could warm up in these, playing them outside. Not play play, you know, but like actually like shoot around and stuff and allows heat to escape. Got the towel inside the hood to keep you dry. This is clean, dude. The elbows are shaped heck of funny though, man. They're like they're like built-in elbow joints right there in the in the elbow portion of the sleeves so it's probably so it doesn't restrict any range of motion while you're shooting or dribbling it doesn't say on there but I think it's cool though I'm pretty sure that's what it's for and then inside the pockets they actually have the dry feet towel tech too so uh, again if you're outside and you're shooting around start to get sweaty put your hands in your pockets dry them off real quick start getting buckets last thing it's their new backpack I actually just I just posted this on Instagram because I thought it was dope somebody on Twitter asked me about a backpack that can carry shoes and a basketball plus you know other stuff like a water bottle and all that kind of crap and I told them that I think the only brand that has that right now is point three but I wasn't sure if it was actually available yet and I went and checked their website it was so I shot the guy a reply with a link and all that stuff and then I thought that it was cool so I went and posted the the picture of the tech specs of the backpack on Instagram and and a lot of the hoopers that are on there all really dug it. And this is the backpack, which is really cool. So you got your water bottle holder right there on the front. You got that side pouch right there for extra extra stuff. The top of it actually uh, opens up here. So you open that up and then you fit your whole basketball like inside there. And it's got room for extra things too. So if you have like your phone and all that, you can put it in there. Thing smells like a tire though, because the bottom of this thing is all rubber. And you can see that rubber net right there. You open this up and now you have a spot to stash your sweaty sneakers, but they can also air out at the same time. So they just don't moisten up your backpack and get all funky in there. You can also carry shoes in the side pouches too. So right here, right here, you can put one shoe in each side. Really, really cool. If you're looking for sick basketball like apparel made simply and specifically for hoopers, point three is where it's at. If you're interested, again, links will be in the description box below. You know what? This area is probably for like your, your gym clothes too. So your, your shorts, your socks, all that stuff that you get all sweaty and then you change out after the game. Throw them in there. They're not going to funky up your bag. Really good look. The, whoever made this is a genius. And I guarantee you that Nike will have one in about three weeks because they're going to see it and they're going to be like, yo, we should have thought of that. Make one real quick. <laughs> I guarantee you. And then half the idiots that go and shop and stuff are going to go buy the Nike one instead of this one. I can guarantee you that too. All right, guys, that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Go support small businesses also. Support James Howe and Howe Concepts. Support Cousins Brand. Support Tesh Sports, The Shrine, and Point3. Thank you to all of those companies. I really appreciate your support as well. It means a lot to me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So until next time, guys, have a good one.